welcome to farming with lisa if this is your first time i'm most most welcome to you and also please subscribe so that when related content is when content is related content is uploaded you're among the first to know and also yeah for the rest of our team you're most welcome those always view the videos thank you it's such an encouragement so today's video is about it's an interesting one it's about those who love to keep chicken at home but not for commercial purposes so uh where i come from if you have your chicken you have visitors uh when a visitor comes around and you want to make them feel special you get that road runner and cut it for them and they will feel that panag this one has really welcomed me today i'm really special like that's how i'm showing you know what we are really you're most welcome so so what if you have your chicken at home you like them to be healthy you like them to be meaty but you don't want to break the bank the first thing you're going to need is finisher just like you have just seen there in the video and banana peels ordinary banana peels matoke peels we call them matoke not the sweet ones they are what are these ones they are the non-sweet plantain so this is what you need for what we are going to do today what we are trying to do is create more feed as a supplement for your for your feeding as well like as much as you're giving the chicken some some finisher the finisher is usually for those who are not poultry okay like well seasoned poultry keepers it is something it is a feed that has most of the nutrients for chicken that are fully grown what you will need is a chopping board as you can see there and somewhere you sit may i prefer to sit down and if you worried about your hands because of the sap uh, you will put vaseline or ghee you put some ghee on your hands you rub with some ghee on your hands so that you can do the, the things properly so this is what we are aiming at we want to cut the banana peels to look like this to be pellets so that they're easily consumable by the chicken especially if these chicken are kept like in cages in chicken coops they're not moving about from one place to another so what else you will need is a very sharp knife yeah like that one then the board as we said so there are so many techniques of doing this uh, one of the techniques that we are going to look at is the one where you just hold it and uh, sorry you hold it and cut like this eh? you get it eh? you cut you hold one peel and cut you get another one and cut i find this a bit like time consuming but if you're very it depends everyone has their own skill and their own speed but i find that when i use this method uh it's not advantageous i find that my thumb becomes rough from all the consistent it's not that the knife cuts me but it keeps on putting that since it's repetitively landing on my thumb, I find that it's a bit rough. Like if you're touching a baby's cheek, they'll be like, what's up with you? But that's not the only method. The other method that I prefer and I find faster is this one. You place on the chopping board, you align them very faster, faster. Before, I used to, eh, I used to watch... Uh, uh, master chef when i oh i watch golden ramses videos trying to see how they cut very faster faster but eh and i but believe me it's a skill you will develop at first i cut my fingers because i was trying to copy the people the chefs on that on the tv how they are cutting like choo -choo 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 -choo, eh? but it's something you have you 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 grow into before I would cut a few of these in hours. But right now in 30 minutes I can cut a bucket. And there you go. You cut, you just have to be careful. So if the knife, when the knife is very sharp, it's easy to do this. Cut very small ones, palatable. The chicken look at them and they kind of think they are pellets. They enjoy them because they are green, they are different. And they have so many nutritional value as well. So you cut like that. You have to be very careful before you develop that. Uh, yeah, yeah. At first, I, I wore gloves. But then I cut the gloves. Then again, it was uncomfortable. Then I used to have artificial nails. Then they cut the nails. Because any anyway, it would also cut my own nails. But 
you know what then i decided since i've become a farmer let me will be a farm just cut my nails be simple and clear mm. they they still look pretty <laughs> i thought I'd, i used to love them when they were all shining and they were long so when i'm cutting the pills i would cut them in so so but <laughs> so i abandoned that sheep so uh as we are cutting this i will we will go through some of the nutritional it's first and foremost it includes the bulk these chicken they love to eat all they do is eat poop and serve and leave so what we are doing we are making sure that they are not feeling starved but also then we are not also giving them junk or we are not giving them air just to make them busy eat, eating and yet they are not getting any nutritional value the advantages of these banana peels is actually when you feed them to for instance these other broilers the ones which they say amazongu chickens all like uh, they are they are fresh chickens eh? the, the the these chick people complain that they are soft that they were no 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 when you feed your chickens the normal feeds they should eat your broilers and also add them some vegetables and greens like even these banana pellets their meat becomes hard it becomes very hard it becomes yeah like a real road runner chicken hmm? so someone can even wonder and say hey i cooked that chicken and it took some time and when they bite it was not like just soft like god knows what so one of uh, increasing helping the chicken meat become firm and hard proper the other thing about this this is what these pills is this they have vitamin b6 which is good for the nervous system they have vitamin b12 which is a healthy boost for the skin liver metabolic process increases the energy they also have magnesium which is very good for the energy and heart health and also relaxing effect eh? and better sleep you know this chicken when they are unhappy they will give you less eggs they will start having problems when they are stressed when 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 poultry are stressed they can't perform well hmm? they will not be well everything is affecting them they're not sleeping well but when they are happy you know that even when you cut when you eat them when you prepare them for your family you will say yeah god has done a very good job for me here and also they are they also these banana peels have what potassium this potassium is very good for your chicken and also other things like omega fats and protein so at the end of it what i do you do this sometimes you can put on the on the nani on the on the chicken on the feeding <laughs> feeding trial of this nani of this chicken and then what i usually do i i i, I also add the the feed the finisher the feed so they eat the feed it, it mixes and monks itself so they eat both they think it's pellets they i don't know what they really think but that is me what i suppose so basically this is what will happen so you will feed them like this it will help the chicken they will enjoy themselves and also you you will have very very healthy chicken i assure you on that you they will not lose weight they will not be tiny as long as you give them um you don't just some people will, will don't please 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 i say this with love don't get maize plain maize bran and then put this uh banana pellets eh? you will not get the results we're expecting it is doable it is doable it can be done the chicken will eat but they will remain the same size they will remain the way you are looking at them you will all look at each other the same way the way you started and the, to the end of the sack but if you can get some little little finisher some good good feed and mix with the pellet you'd rather give quality than quantity hmm? so you will enjoy your chicken your chicken will also enjoy you and even when you have that guest and you cut for them and before you cut you first let it walk around they see it and say eh, i'm really i'm really a guest today you cut it they will know anang. you have showed them love hmm? you have showed them love so once again i want to thank you so much for watching this video i was trying to make it short but i did not succeed but I wanted to make sure that all the information is there. I have given you all the information. Thank you for listening.
and for watching this video um if you have other pellets other natural pellets you do with other feeds please share it in the information and yeah if you have any questions please let me know i'm here i'm ready yeah and thank you again for all the support and going through all this video god bless you and please subscribe thank you so much and have a wonderful day bye bye